Rooney. Rooney. Uh, just giving you a heads up on where I'm at. So I've, I've figured out the easiest way to do this is to go through one line, pencil them all, and then each color, just stick with that one color all the way through. Uh, and then once I've done that entire line, uh, I sharpie the boundaries. So I've got yellow and green to work on. Get yellow. I did mess up here, uh, so it's going to look a little not perfect, but that's okay. No worries, I'm perfect. Uh, so I'm almost done with the color. I'll move the green and just finish up these. Can't remember what number this is. I didn't erase anything. So what's great about this, I pressed lightly, so I can still see the color, the the numbers, but I didn't erase them. Uh, the colored pencil covers the regular pencil pretty well, and these are a little messy, uh, but that's okay because when I go to do the sharpie. You'll see it covers up some of the messes. You can see that it really just it tightens it up. It makes it look really nice. Circle. I'm just tracing those pencil lines. And you can see it went from kind of scribbly uh, to really nice and clean. I'll do this one too. So even though I kind of messed up on this one, it looks pretty good. It's okay. Uh, and I just went through. You can try to get a clean line all the way across and just follow the, the grid. Um, if you want to do one at a time, you can do that as well. I'm just going through and tracing each one of those pencil lines. That looks way better. So uh, that's what we're going to what you're going to do for this part. So just go through, trace once you're done the coloring. And doing one line at a time kind of breaks it up so it's uh, not as daunting or, or not as intimidating. Um, yeah. So you can do one line at a time. And it really, it's much more manageable, I think. If you wanted to pencil everything all the way down and then color everything all the way down. However you finish this is fine. But I'm, pretty, I'm feeling pretty okay about doing one line at a time. Alright, 